So you work in Kazakhstan, yeah. a developing country that is very fossil fuel rich and it has a long history tied to the oil and gas industry and not so many investments related to renewable energies. So what is a country with a profile like that? What is their take on the climate change issue and how do they see their responsibility to act? So Kazakhstan, I think, is an interesting example because they are they actually have a lot of ambition. They have this national ambition of joining the ranks of basically the OECD countries. They want to be one of the top 30 most competitive economies in the world by 2050. And you know, I think when they survey you know, who they want to be, who they, the, the, the other countries they consider the top economies, they see these are the economies making the transition to a green economy. Mm-hmm. And so they are putting in place uh, policies around improving their energy efficiency, improving the use of renewable energy, um, and then they have a carbon market as well. And you know, these are really innovative tools, uh, very unusual, I think, for a developing petro-based economy. Yeah. But they, they see it as part of the you know, really essential ingredients for transforming and being competitive in 2050. Yeah. So there, for many oil and gas rich countries, there's been a, sustain, a systemic shock to the system because of the prolonged drop in commodity and oil prices. What types of opportunities are emerging for an economy that's in the development phase, such as Kazakhstan, from that? Yeah, that's a great, that's a great question. And truthfully, you know, because there has been such a shock to the economy, all of a sudden they're looking for ways to cut expenses. Well, how do you cut expenses? You can save money on energy. You can be more efficient in your manufacturing. You have to be more efficient in your manufacturing. You have to look for ways um, that, that benefit the bottom line. And, and an easy way to do that is to save energy, save fuel costs. So they have a national law that um, requires every facility over a certain size to actually conduct an energy audit. And then um, the time for that has just come and gone. So now you know everyone has everyone has has actually done the audit, and now they're looking at how to implement the findings that the audit achieved. And and the metric that they're using is energy intensity. Mm-hmm. So over time, every facility is expected to improve their energy intensity. So the country several years ago it enacted an emissions trading scheme, mm-hmm. and as with any policy related to the regulation of carbon, there's an initial limitation to competitiveness of certain industries. And already there's a lot of factors in the market in a country such as Kazakhstan. It has a uh, limited population, so it's tough to scale certain industries, large distances to cover as the transportation costs. And these are the, the factors that are systemic in many developing countries. You add a tax on carbon on top of that, and it further restricts certain competitive elements. So what do you, when you're speaking with businesses and industry, how do they offset those costs? That's a good question. Um, they're they're looking for ways to do that. And in in Kazakhstan, I think every well in every country, I think different sectors take a different approach. And some of the major industries that are regulated under the carbon market in Kazakhstan are the oil and gas industry. And those are they tend to be global companies that are active already in the EU carbon market and the California carbon market. And they have experience with you know, imp- uh, being efficient, um, setting up their systems so that they know where their emissions are happening and, and they can they do a pretty good job of managing that. Mm-hmm. Um, there are other industries like the cement industry. In Kazakhstan, they're already on track to update and, and um, improve that industry. Kazakhstan, um, pre- like I think many countries of the former Soviet Union, have this legacy of infrastructure that was built in the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, and it's, it's not really that efficient or, or modern. And the cement sector in Kazakhstan is, is largely on track to update their technologies. Mm-hmm. So they, I think they see a pathway to compliance. 